going on guys? So if you have been following automotive news today, you're probably aware that Chevrolet just introduced their newly redesigned 2022 Silverado with several major enhancements. A lot of them on the interior of the vehicle and really exciting, as well as the announcement of their new flagship ZR2 off-road pickup truck. So hang tight, I'll be right back. Alright, so there's a lot to go over in this video and we're going to kick it off by talking about the new 2022 first ever Silverado ZR2, which is their new flagship off-road truck. Basically Chevy offers three off-road packages. One's going to be the really popular Z71, followed by the relatively new Trail Boss and now the new ZR2. So the ZR2 is essentially going to be their premium interior, premium technology package truck, but in an off-road package. But not just an off-road package, a highly enhanced off-road package. And what's included in the ZR2 package is a standard 6.2 liter V8 engine. It has 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque, and it's mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission. And we all know anytime you're talking about an enhanced off-road package, a lot of people first want to see what type of shocks the truck's equipped with. So if you look at Ford, they use Fox. If you look at Ram, they use Bilstein. And this is a Silverado first application of their Multimatic 40 millimeter DSSV spool valve dampeners. So they basically have three separate spool valves to control dampening and three connected chambers for fluid flow. So given these enhancements, I'm expecting the truck is going to feel very plush when it's off-road. And they've also uniquely tuned the springs, so they actually give you increased front and rear suspension travel compared to the current Silverado Trail Boss. And in addition to all the normal off-road stuff like terrain modes and some of the cool suspension and off-road calibrations that they've done, this truck now has front and rear elastic lockers. You heard that right. So you have both front and rear locking diffs, which gives this truck a huge, huge advantage when it comes to off-road capabilities. And they also have their really cool one pedal rock crawling feature. Basically, it's a feature that applies the brake when you remove your foot from the gas pedal. So if you're going to be crawling over terrain, it'll actually bring the vehicle to a complete stop if you take your foot off of the gas, which is pretty cool. And it can be very helpful in many off-road conditions where you would typically ride both the brake pedal and the gas pedal at the same time to manage traction and control over certain types of environments. And this package is going to include 33 inch off-road tires, a uniquely enhanced skid plate package, as well as a high approach front steel bumper that's going to give you the ability to have an improved 31.8 degree approach angle compared to other Silverado off-road trucks. So my opinion on this truck, you know, my gut tells me it's going to be received pretty well. It does not have that wide body stance that you see on some of the other brands premium off-road vehicles like the Raptor and the TRX, but it still has a very unique and aggressive look to it. Now in terms of maximum payload capacity, you can get it at 1440 pounds. And of course that will be dictated by the package you get the truck equipped with from a feature perspective. Also the conventional trailer weight is 8,900 pounds. So this thing is not designed to be the tow king of the fleet. So yeah, it's going to be definitely interesting to get behind the wheel of this truck and see what it's capable of. Now, let's talk about the interior a little bit because this truck is also going to benefit from all the new enhancements from a technology perspective and from an interior fit and finish perspective that the new 2022 Silverado receives. And I think this is a great opportunity to talk about some of the changes that Chevrolet has made to the 2022 Chevy Silverado. So on the exterior, every trim level is going to receive a new front fascia and grille design that lowers the headlamps. And I got to be honest with you, I think it looks pretty dang nice. Also, on the LT model and above, the wing-shaped daytime running light that was introduced in 2019, it's been revised and it's going to feature this animated lighting sequence whenever you approach, you start the truck, or you walk away from the vehicle, which is pretty cool. And it's kind of in line with what you're seeing on several other GM vehicles, especially some of their EV vehicles. And in my opinion, it kind of makes the truck stand out. I think everyone likes a cool lighting package on a pickup truck. Also, from a technology perspective, the 2022 Silverado will be the first Chevy pickup truck to offer available Super Cruise, which is the industry's first true hands-free driver assistance technology for compatible roads, and it's going to be available on the Silverado High Country and can be used on over 200,000 miles worth of roads that are compatible throughout the U.S. and Canada. And if you want more information on this technology, I did a video out at the GM Proving Grounds up in Detroit uh, about a month ago, so you might want to go back and check out that video 
if you want to see how cool this type of technology actually is. Now let's talk about the big news. This is the stuff that was done on the interior of the truck, specifically LT trims and above. And I think this is really where the truck stands out now because it's elevated the brand into an interior class that I don't feel that they competed very well in in the past. So along with the huge 13.4 inch touchscreen, it also has a 12.3 inch display that's used as the instrument cluster. This thing is absolutely gorgeous and it's loaded with technology. And I think people are kind of expecting that from the these higher trim luxury pickup trucks nowadays. And what's also interesting is how they've changed the vertical elements on the older model to more of horizontal elements on the newer model, which gives you this wider kind of more spacious interior feel to it overall. And they've also given you standard leather seating surfaces with a very nice custom perforation and stitching pattern, which again gives the truck more of a high end feel along with stainless steel grill covers for the speaker system. All right, so let's talk about the powertrains. So for 2022, the 2.7 liter turbo high output engine uh, actually received a more rigid cylinder block casting, and uh, it also received a 30% stiffer crankshaft. And GM claims that these improvements helped reduce noise and it tuned the engine for greater torque production, giving you an estimated 420 pound feet of torque, which is 20% greater than the current configuration of the engine. And GM also claims that the 2.7 liter turbo high output engine has has the best in class maximum trailer rating of 9,500 pounds in a two wheel drive configuration. So if you're a fan of a diesel in a half ton truck, the three liter Duramax turbo diesel now has a max tow option. And if you get it equipped with the max tow option, it has a max tow rating of 13,300 pounds. That is 4,000 pounds greater than the non max tow version of the diesel, which is pretty dang awesome considering diesels of the past and half tons were primarily there for fuel efficiency and not necessarily towing. And if those engines aren't for you, don't worry, Chevy still offers trucks equipped with the 5.3 liter V8 as well as the 6.2 liter V8. And if you get either of the V8 engines or the 3 liter Duramax, they will be exclusively paired with the 10 speed automatic transmission. All right, so what do you guys think of the new 2022 Silverado and the ZR2 pickup truck? Thanks again for watching my channel. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.